The topic today is how to record sound that is coming through your computer, like from a web browser or something like that. This is going to be a little longer than my other tutorials, but I'm still going to do everything I can to keep it concise. Quick disclaimer, I am not saying that you should record anything copyrighted without the person's permission. Check the licenses, understand the licenses, and know whether or not it's legal for you to do this. In my example, I'm going to be using one of my own videos, so I do have permission. Keep that in mind, I'm only telling you the method, I am not teaching you the legality. So, with that in mind, let's move forward. Now, to do this, you need a few programs, but thankfully they are all free. So we have iMovie, OBS, I Show You Audio Capture, and Safari Chrome, a browser, something that's going to be playing audio. All of these are free, I will have links to the ones that are not just part of stock Apple to begin with. Remember, this is just for Mac. Windows, you have a lot more options, actually. It's a lot easier with Windows with Mac, a little tricky. First thing we're going to do is open up Audio MIDI Capture. So I'm just going to audio, or rather, Audio MIDI Setup. Now, you should have I Show You and Everything set up already. So once you have it set up, we're going to be going into this. And I already have it set up, but just to show you what it'd be, you click the plus in the bottom left, create multi-output device, and then you select whatever you're going to be listening with, whether it's speakers or headphones, and I show you audio capture. So once you have that set up, rename it to whatever it is. I already have desktop audio set up, so I'm not going to rename it, but just click that, select, rename to something that you can remember. Now that you have your multi-output device done, go to audio up here and select your device, which mine is desktop audio. So now it's going to play to your headphones and to I show you, which means that we're going to be able to use that as an output. So now we bring in OBS, which I'm recording from right now. So hopefully that doesn't mess things up here. But what you do next is you hit plus, hit audio input capture, name it something like desktop audio, and then we select I show you audio capture. So now we have this right here, which is going to be the desktop audio that we're going to record. So you can check the level and everything. So I'm going to scoot this over and then you open up whatever video you're going to do. Mine's on Safari. So this is the one that I'm going to use as an example. And we're going to hit play that they've put into it. And as you if can not, see, the level is going up and down. Use your own drive file from the roll. Again, probably ask for work. I'm going to step away from my recording, stop recording this video, record a bit of that without my mic, which make sure that your mic is muted. See, it's muted, you can't hear it, so that won't pollute this audio. So I'm going to step away, do that, and then come back to the tutorial. Have that recorded, real short, but whatever you have, it'll record whatever as long as you have space on your computer. So we're just going to close that, and then we're going to go to Finder and new finder window, movies, OBS footage, which is where I've told my OBS to record to. To check that, you just go to settings, output, and then right here, you can click browse and navigate to wherever you want it to be saved, or at least look to where it, it got saved to. Now that we have it saved here, we're gonna go and open up iMovie. We're going to click new movie, Click movie there, click this, import selected, and we're going to drag it onto the timeline. Now, what we do is we go up here to this, which looks like the share icon and it says share, but you can also click file, name it whatever you're gonna remember, and then go to, in this dropdown, go to audio only, and then in file format, pick one of these files. MP3 is gonna be the smallest, but wave is going to sound the best and have the most support. So I would say wave if you're gonna edit this into something else, but if it's just for you to listen to on your phone or whatever, you can just use MP3. Click next and then you decide where you want it to go. We'll just go to movies and save. And now we wait. This little progress bar up top will show us how long it takes and it's finished. So now we can click show. It will take us to the audio, which if we go into this version we can listen. Well, just use the drive file. You don't have to have music and stuff. It is about your voice after all. There you go. Now you have the audio from the video and you can do with it whatever you please. So hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this isn't too long. I like to keep them to under three minutes, but this is a bit more involved. So that should do it. Hopefully it works for you. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. I'll answer them when I can. If it's too involved, I will make another tutorial about your question if it's something that needs a little more explanation. So yeah, 
Hope that helped. You're welcome.